What is going on, my ladies and gentlefish? This is the Croc to bring you another tutorial video. Now then, um, a couple people really, really liked my last tutorial video. Apparently, I seemingly explained things quite well. Um, I want to go over a couple things in this tutorial. Uh, last time we covered uh, Wi-Fi for gold, silver, and crystal, uh, stadium, etc., and a lot of Wi-Fi stuff. So today, we're going to be covering Pika Sav and a couple other small little things that I feel you need to know about. So let's just get right into it as we go into PikaSav. Now I want you to go to your browser once again. I have updated my YouTube page with more stuff that you need um, and things you need to be aware of because they're very important uh, when you're looking at the second generation metagame and when you're looking at stuff like that. So I need you to type in into your internet browser. I need you to type in the Crocs page because that's me and, and that would be awesome if you could do that. So, to the Crocs page we must venture. Um, awesome thumbnail that's right there. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video, I have updated a couple things. Uh, number one, I've updated my Skype uh, onto my YouTube page. If you need to get in touch with me, please shoot me a message. That's great. And uh, you need to go here. This is your illegal move sets for Red, Blue, and Yellow, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Uh, make sure any of your Pokemon that you're using if you're using trade back, not using trade back, whatever type of battle that you are having, please make sure that your move sets are legal. Now, I want to introduce one awesome person called Kazo Wars. Uh, Kazo War is responsible for making smogon sets. Okay? When you go to his page, it's actually in his description of his page, but you can go to About. And when you go here, you see this link right here, Smog on Set Database? You're going to want to click on this. This is for people that may just be starting out in any of the first five generations even. Um, a lot of people that do SAB and what have you, this is how we do it. Uh, we SAB and we Pika SAB, so technically we just SAB. Um, standard is great, but very, very important. If you use the standard, guess what? They... Uh, may not be legal. So if you use the light version, whichever one that you choose to download, what's going to happen is you're going to download it, you're going to get a media fire, and you're going to want to download that media fire. Now let me show you how to open that. I'll go over both. Uh, I don't really feel the necessary need to go over uh, one of them. And the reason being is that Pokagen is something that is so widely used. It's actually really easy. I find Pika Save much more challenging uh, to do. And I would like to also bring your attention, if I could get my Skype window to open without freaking out, so I can open the Skype window. Go away. Okay, I want to open the Skype window for just a moment. And I want you guys to see me for like half a second. Uh, what's up? What's going on? I'm looking for something that I want to show you. And this is just a protection for me in case, you know... Stupid camera. In case Pika Sav, you know, gets all crazy and whatnot, and they try to say that, you know, I'm making an illegal video or something, which I'm not. Sorry about that light behind me. It just kind of sticks back there. But somewhere in this Game Boy case, I actually own silver and crystal, and I just kind of wanted to show you all that. That's why I use Pika Save, because I do own the versions. Silver, crystal. Okay. Now, that being said, that I own those versions, and all the legal maneuvering is handled, we can get into the heart of Pika Saves. So now we can close the camera because we no longer need a go-away camera. Okay. Uh, let's see what we've got here. We're going to go into Pika Save. Now, remember those small on sets I told you to download? You just need to open Pika Save. Okay. It's going to look something like this. Make sure that you're using version 0.4 RC2. You're also going to need the framework that goes with it, so don't like panic or anything. If you don't have that, it comes with it, so no problem. Now, I always, always am forevermore when I'm dealing with second generation, I am always going to use Crystal. Uh, there's a couple things to that. Crystal, maybe, maybe, and just maybe, uh, you're going to want to open your saves, okay? Whatever save you got, there is a list of red, blue, and yellow, gold, silver, crystal saves on the internet. Uh, if you don't have that, I will drop them in the description of this video as well. And you're just going to open your crystal. So when you open your crystal or your red or your blue, everything's pretty much the same. Uh, the only difference is there's two differences. 
Uh, when you're doing red, blue, and yellow, you can change Pokemon type. Uh, for example, when I open Pokemon, now notice these are, this is my party, okay? There's going to be an extra block right here on red, blue, and yellow only, and you'll be able to change Pokemon type and save it. However, very, very monumentally important. If you saw my PokeGods video, do not, under any circumstance, bring changed typed Pokemon to Stadium or Stadium 2. They will show in the BIOS, but they will not work in the battle. So, that being said, uh, you can also edit your Pokemon stored in Bill's PC. Now, this, I did not go over in this tutorial. I'm glad we're making a tutorial video, because this is very important. When you open a box of Pokemon, okay, you see 19 and 20 are empty, but I have 18 Pokemon in the box. It is very important, no matter how many Pokemon you have in this box, if there's 18 Pokemon, there better be an 18 right there on this saved Pikasab, okay? So, to use the Smogon sets, make sure that you have a blank file, okay? It's very, very important. Sometimes Pikasab acts kind of stupid and locks up, like right now, so just close it until it to, you know, go to heck somewhere. And, oh, Mal's on. Uh, open Pikasab back up once it, you know, stops acting stupid, and re... re Bring up your crystal, your red, your blue, your yellow, all that stuff. I don't know why it's not defaulting back to my desktop like I had it, but whatever. It don't want to default, so that's whatever. So go back to, uh, bar, 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 go to save. Uh, and open your crystal save once again, because I really want to go over this, because it's great for people that are just learning movesets. You see these two blanks right here? Since these are blank, they don't have a set byte file in their coding, which means you could stick anything in there. So to use these smog on sets that Kazo War made, go to open PKM in, you know, PKMON, kind of like Pogorap, except not really. Okay. Um, I have them stored on my external, so the only reason I can get to them is because they're on my external right now. Da -da 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 -da. So now we wait for it to open my external. There it is. And what you're going to do is you're going to come down to Smog on Sets. Once you extract it, notice it has first through fifth. I think I use standard. I might be using light. I'm not sure. And let's just pick OU. And you can open the Pokemon you want. I'm going to open Cloister Defensive. And you can toggle out beside. And when you toggle, it's going to tell you the set. Rapid Spin, Spike, Surf, and Rest. So it's a defensive Cloister. And you're just going to click Open. You're going to wait a couple seconds. And you're going to get a magical da ding Loaded 55 bytes from G Smog on sets. And then all you do is very, very important again. This is Pokemon 19. So you're going to want to change this to 19 and save it and edit your cloister and all that. So that's it. When you get done, make sure that you click finished. Make sure that's 19. Make sure you close that. Close this, but don't ever close this main window unless you go over here and click save save. You can click save save uh, save save as but really really not the best thing to do. Just click save save, close it, you know, and that's all you do. And uh, to verify that it worked you can use stadium or you can use TGB dual whichever one. Uh, TGB dual being the best for gold, silver, and crystal and basic Game Boy Color Wi-Fi. There are a couple games that play better uh, I am in the beta testing of something pretty, pretty big, so you guys need to stay tuned for that. But I'm just going to show you that it worked here. We're going to go to our Pokemon Crystal, which is on my controller as opposed to that. But make sure if you're playing Crystal that you are set to the correct display, uh, to the correct mode, because Crystal will not boot. Okay, so now Crystal is booted. You are on Crystal, la 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 la, and you are going to go to your PC. And this is very important because I'm going to try to see if this video is going to cover it for me. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's the cloister that you just made. There it is. Got some leftovers, OT smog on. There it is. Um, very important, though. The reason that you don't just randomly stick stuff in here. Uh, look at this right here. This is a perfect example. Do you see this? Do you know why that's messed up? Do you notice that it says Maractus Quilava? That's my Vaporeon. It's a Vaporeon sprite, but it's reading it as a Quilava. So make sure when you go through Pika Save, and I'm going to show you real quick how to fix this, uh, go back to your Pika Save. What I like to do with files like that, if they are corrupted, you can just blank them out and load a new Pokemon. 
But what that results from is sticking the wrong number in there. On Stadium, they just won't read. But on the Game Boy, they do something a little worse. They actually corrupt your Pokemon. And you don't want corrupted Pokemon. It's like the missing O virus from Red, Blue, and Yellow, only it's a lot worse. And, you know, you don't want that knocking on your door. Uh, interesting to note, there is a particular... Not Project 1.7. There is a particular comic that I saw on Facebook uh, with the MS with the missing out glitch, and what it was is uh, t -t 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 come to find out it was trying to get through the door. Okay, and basically, I'm gonna go over this in just a minute. Basically, what was happening is you know I'll give you infinite of your sixth item if you let me through the door, and you know it glitches up your Hall of Fame. So you don't want to do any of that. But luckily you have, and Pika Save is wonderful for this because you can detect this. Notice that it's a Quilava class with a Vaporeon sprite with a red scale. This is going to glitch your game up really bad. So what do I recommend doing? Just close the Pokemon. Just delete it. You know, it, it really isn't a big deal. Um, just make sure, again, that you have 18 pokes so it doesn't randomly corrupt those last two because you don't want any of that. And even when you blank out a Pokemon, make sure you click Finished. Very, very important, and then save the save. And it'll tell you blah, 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 set log file, don't, log files don't matter. So, that was the first thing I want to cover in this tutorial, is how to use your Pika Save. Um, one big thing, the great thing about Pika Save for the most part, it is user-friendly. So let's say uh, there's another thing, I guess you could use Battle It, I guess, and whatnot. You'll set up a team, but that's more for Pokemon Online. Uh, this is like a whole different ball game. So just make sure you're always opening a save file as opposed to a media file and make sure those save files are in TGB Duel. Um, again, going through here with Crystal, I'm just going to show you how to do Hidden Power if you don't learn how to do it. Uh, very, very important though, when you do Hidden Power, make sure you do not do this. I'm going to do this on purpose so you know what I'm doing. Do not do this. Do not make your hidden power. I know flying sucks on Zapdos, but it's just for a point. You're going to make your hidden power, and then you're going to max your stats. Notice that your IVs are total maxed out. You're not going to have hidden power. You're going to have hidden power dark. So, make sure if you use hidden power that you do not re-max your IVs. There's no point. Max them, and then hidden power. And then again, finished. Uh, normally, what you're going to want to do when you get a Pokemon... Uh, let's say you're making one by hand. You're going to make a Zapdos, give it a magnet, call it Damon Gant. You're going to click max. Once you get the moves, the four moves you want, click max everything. What's going to happen here is it's going to max your IVs, your effort values. It's going to show you all your values. And it's going to show your moves, what they are, how many PP ups they get, your max happiness, your current HP, what level you caught it at. Etc. Etc. And that's pretty much it for Pika Save. If you have any questions, you need any help at all, please feel free to hit me up on Skype, Twitter, Facebook. Any of those will be fine. If you do add me from Skype, please let me know that it is from YouTube. I get a lot of Skype requests, and I want to make sure that you are from YouTube so I can know who you are. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the special that I'm uploading very, very soon. I'm rendering it as I'm going through the video. So. Maybe to be up by the time. It'll probably be already up by the time this video goes up. Thank you guys. Rate, comment, sub, thumbs up. Peace out. Objection. Subscribe. Objection. And find the computer room. And later.